I just had this idea tonight. Maybe it would be cool to do like a week in the life of my time at Oxford. Just this week because I wouldn't actually keep up with it. So maybe this is the beginning of it. Today I was in the library for six hours as long as it's open from 11 until 5. And then I came home and meant to do work but didn't. And I went on YouTube and Tumblr and baked cookies and did everything that's a lot funner sometimes than reading a book. That's a lie. Reading a book is always fun. I mean like academically researching because that can be exhausting. All that said, I should go to bed because I should wake up early tomorrow. And yeah, here's that. Hey, so it is Monday now. I am going to head to a coffee shop because I need to write a paper. There's my bag. And it's not being very productive here. That's a lie. I made an outline, but I meant to make two by 12 and I only made one. So hopefully I'll be more productive there. I just got home from the coffee shop that I was at all day, um, working, and I got one of my essays done all the way. Well, mostly all the way. I'm going to edit it tomorrow. But um, I've been meaning to start on my second one, but you can see here just about how much of it I've got done. <sighs> I will probably try and consume a lot of ice cream and perhaps other various desserts for sanity purposes. This is kind of becoming a typical thing. Whoops. So it's about two in the morning now. Poetry's hard. It takes a lot of effort. I'm almost done with my paper. By almost done, I mean about halfway done. So I'm gonna go to bed for a few hours then try and wake up around 5.30 or 6 and hopefully I can finish it. It's 6.30 now in the morning, and I'm tired, and I don't want to be up, but I do have to finish my essay, and I did the thing this morning where I set my alarm for like 5 and 5.15 and 5.30, and I let myself sleep in until like 6.30. I'm not going to say sorry. <laughs> It's about 9.30 in the morning and I just went to G&B's and got a breakfast sandwich because I finished writing my papers and now I'm going back to edit them so that I can turn them in. But I thought I would treat myself because that just seemed necessary. I finally finished my essays. It is 12.35 p.m. in the afternoon. The last one is due at 1, so I'm in like half an hour to spare. I'm going to go for a walk. So, here we are walking! Yes! Um, this is basically what I do every Tuesday because I finish my papers um, and then I just get massive anxiety about having turned them in and I'm like, oh my god, that's the worst thing I've ever written. So I kind of have to like leave and like walk that off. So I come to Port Meadow most often. Um, it's very pretty. It's also nice for filming here because it's pretty solitary. So. Nobody really thinks I'm nuts, hopefully, unless they see me like this. Today's 
after I turn in my papers in the morning kind of end up being my weekend because I don't have my tutorials till tomorrow. That means I walk, that means I probably go to a coffee shop and read. <laughs> it's kind of bad because my recreational activities are the same generally as my academic activities. It's just the academic ones are forced upon me, which make them a little more difficult to do sometimes. Because it's like, you can really enjoy something, but the second you're forced to do it, it becomes a lot harder even if you enjoy it. Weird. It is Wednesday, and I just went to my first tutorial, which thankfully went well. I wrote on the Bronte poetry, and it was generally well received. I'm now headed over to check into Opus, and to go to my secondary tutorial, and then after all that walking and thinking, I'll probably just go home and sleep, or eat, or both. Today is Saturday and also Valentine's Day, so obviously I'm sporting some cats and some more cats. Today with Opus, the program that we are at APU with, we are taking a trip to Stratford-upon-Avon, Shakespeare's home and house and city, and we might go to a balcony and see the birds, which I'm really, really We just went to Stratford on Avon, which was fun. Um, it would have been cool to see more things from Shakespeare. I feel like a lot of them are. Maybe Shakespeare could have seen this when he actually did it. But it was very cool. Okay, so right now, me and Lexi are on our way to go to the church where Shakespeare is buried. We got to go to a falconry, then we came back to Stratford and did some work. Lexi wrote a paper and I read a story by Branwell Bronte, but we thought before going back to the Opus bus, we would see history and stuff because that's important. So it's actually a lie and we're not going to Shakespeare's grave because it costs money and also it's closed. We got to walk down the street and it was pretty. Lexi, how did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it yeah. a lot better than my other And that was a week in Oxford. We finally made it back to Sunday again. It is now Sunday, February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. Um, unfortunately, between yesterday and today, I contracted a bit of a cold, which is kind of a sad note to leave this on. All things considered, this is a pretty good week. Um, there's obviously a lot of stuff that I wasn't able to film, um, so I didn't feel comfortable taking out a camera in because I didn't want to seem creepy or weird. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll probably vlog sometime in the future. I'm not going to say near future, or distant future, because I don't know when, but there will be a blog post about life. So, have a good day! Look at me, walking around, not showering. Hashtag cool kid.